Good day, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a flip through of my newest um, junk journal, portfolio, whatever you want to call it. I've used a file folder to make this and then just um, covered it with fabric and I have two signatures that I've sewn into it. Um, I just went ahead and um, <clears throat> made a closure um, just using some yarn. Um, I really like this yarn. It's just really cool. Then I added this um, charm key and I also added these little um, uh, I don't know what you call them. <laughs> My mind is drawing a blank right now, which it always does when I go to do a video. But um, yeah, let's open it up and see what I did. So um, I'm running out of these, but um, this is my avocado dyed envelope and the black paper with the white inside so you can see it, but then um, I just added some stickers to it. I'm running out of these, but I really like the black and pink together. All right, so this um, sticker right here is actually not a sticker. It's from a piece of candy, and I just kind of, um, I thought it went good with the flowers. She's picking flowers, and then my little um, seed packet. Um, and just making sure I'm in vision here because I don't want to keep adjusting. Um, and then I just had this yellow cardstock piece and added this whimsical um, sticker. Um, I have a whole bunch of these like kid style stickers and I want to use them up. I, I, I really want to use them up. So. So that's just a flip out. Um, so the first piece that I put in was this green piece of paper, but it was too green. So then I added a whole uh, another piece of paper, just glued that on, made a pocket. Um, this piece of paper is from a, um, a Lakota book um, about Jesus. So, and it was $2. All right, so I added some washi tape. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna show you everything that I did, but um, this right here was a, it's for a place setting at a table and then you would put like the person's name, like who's sitting where. Um, but uh, I just made it as a little pocket and then made a bookmark out of scraps. And this is actually from my friend from the Praise pra pa Sorry, let's start. Let's try that again. <laughs> Praise Paper Project. Um, I really like this one because it was green. But um, see how she has the corner punch? I don't have any of those. And um, unless they're like $2, I'm not going to buy them. <laughs> All right. And like I said, this is a pocket and I just added some washi so you could kind of see it. Kind of goes with the green. And this is just from uh, Castle Peak, Colorado. It's pretty cool. Just a postcard. And um, these pieces here and this came from, so I always go to the Hobby Lobby clearance section and they were, they had the big um, calendars like that you would get like if you're a teacher um, and they were like 50 cents. So I bought like three different ones. I mean, they were pretty cheap. So I've been using up those um, today, yesterday, tomorrow, put some wash tape, a mushroom sticker and that clips open for some journaling space, journaling space here and then um, a bookmark or whatever recipe marker, whatever you want to use that for. And the Lord bless you and keep you. Um, journal cards, 
Like I said, I've had these forever. I can't even remember where I got them. Probably at the second hand store, thrift store. Shine your light on the world. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, so this is from my um, magazine of seeds, you know. And this is from a piece of candy. And I just did a corner tuck up here with some odds and ends and then left it blank so somebody can mark like holiday or a date, a special date or a special prompt word. And then some of my master board collage and I just put Romans 838 on here and then on the back for journaling. Okay, again, journal space. Um, I love this stamp of my mom's and um, so I just stamped some blank paper so whoever has this book can color it in or leave it and then I just added some gesso to the purple paper so that um, you can journal on it and this is um, paper that looks like it's handmade but it's just paper I just added a bow all right um bits and pieces from a magazine from a book just some um leftover fabric some washi tape um i made a journal card i sewed around it this is just fussy cut from a um flower book and i finally get to use this i made this a long time ago and it's red and i don't use this stark stark red that often unless it's the holidays so i finally got to use it and i made a little pocket here to put it in and so i my mom found these cute little paper clips but this right here i gotta remember just kind of pull straight out like this and then you have um these two cards here so it's just journaling cards um to use however and I just sewed around them um, this is uh, a faux stamp from my friend Ville Marie okay. and so then you just close it back up and so then you have this and you could do something with that whoever owns this all right this is my next page and just another journaling card. Um, I just added just things that I thought would go. Washi tape. This is a sticker. This is a sticker. This is a new stamp that I got and I just colored it in real subtly with green. Um, this is just some leftover paper that I had on my desk. Again, leftovers. Um, this is from a book stickers um, this is one of those rub-ons from the Dollar Tree sticker my new stamp um, I just made a little pocket and you can use this as a recipe marker or a bookmark um, so yeah again I'm just using up bits and pieces stuff that goes the rest of my rub-ons from the Dollar Tree, which I have to go get some more because I really, really like these. They just add a little bit of flair. Okay, these are my 3D stamps that I'm using. Um, I just used um, some washi tape for a flip out. And this is, again is a sticker from my friend, Bill Marie, and I used a bingo card. Um, just added some of this um, Big Chief paper. Um, I think if I'm not mistaken, so I wanted this to be like a faux, I think this is a middle signature and, um, but this also looks like, um, the middle of a signature. I was trying to do that on purpose so you couldn't tell which was the middle or not. Um, and I just added these, um, for... Since there's no writing space, you have these journaling cards. And these are just um, paper doll cutouts. 
So it's kind of, I kind of made them into like a belly band. All right. And again, here we're on the other side of that paper that looks like it's handmade. Um, I just did a one of those um, index cards. This is a playing card. Again, bits and pieces. This is actually a postcard of Main Street South, Chamberlain, South Dakota. It doesn't say what year it is, but the cars are telling. All right. Um, so I just added a paper clip here with a journal card and some more writing space. Um, so that's that. Um, I thought a person could put a photograph right here. I don't have one right off of my desk. Um, you know, a nice photograph. And again, I'm just adding pieces of paper or stickers that I want to use up. And then I, this one was red, but then I put some of the pearl. I used a lot of the pearl um, flake paint. I don't know what they're, what they're called. Liquid pearls. Yeah, and they're by Ranger. But I use this color. So yeah. All right. This is not an endorsement. Okay, um, I just got this um, at Hobby Lobby. They were having like stuff on sale for 90% off. So this came, it's like a ribbon spool. So it says, life is beautiful, life is beautiful. So, um, for 90% off, yeah, it was like, I think, a dollar. <laughs> and then um, I just added a um, eyelet hole and added this little charm. And, yeah, I used a doily. All right. Um, these papers, they're very thin after I realized, but I love them. Um, they're from when I did the washi tape shop review. So these came in that. So um, you have tons of writing space here. And this is just a little die cut truck that I had and it was red so it, kind of, it went with the colors that I was using. Leftover ribbon. Huh, got bent a little bit. All right, another 3D sticker of a typewriter. Here's a little um, traveling card from Badlands National Park. And so this is the first signature and this is the second signature start, or the end of the first and the start of the second. And um, I found this in my stash. I'm not even sure where it came from, but I just put a little bubble pin and attached it. And then I really love this sticker from the Antiquarian Sticker Book. And the colors just went perfect. So the greens, the blues, the um, maroon or whatever you want to, fuchsia, whatever color you want to call that. So, and then um, there's some ladies that come and give my father, uh, my grandfather, not my father, my grandfather communion every Saturday. And they um, brought over this book, but it's in Spanish. Um, and so it's just kind of cool that these are, um, Bible verses in Spanish. So I just put them up there. Just some stickers. These are actual, this one is actually a button tag that had buttons. And I just put to and from, so you could use that for a gift. And then these were, um, this one says to and from on it. And it was just a, um, both of these two tags were from clothing so I reuse those and next page. Um, I really like this verse with the um, camera sticker and the phone sticker because um, they're modern and it says for yesterday is but a dream and tomorrow is only a vision, but today well lived makes every yesterday a dream of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope. So it's just kind of like, 
time meshing with each other today, yesterday, tomorrow. <laughs> and here's another postcard. This is um, Fallen Independence Pass near Aspen. And um, I just like the, how the color went with the beautiful flower over here. And this back piece is from a correspondence from my uncle and um, I copied it on some paper and cut it down and then put some gesso over it so that you can, um, whoever the owner is, can go ahead and write stuff on it and left the prompt open. All right, this is from a tea bag, a sticker. Um, I went ahead and took like a, a poem and made it look like kind of like hinges. Um, and when, after I put them on, I forgot that I didn't, um, I didn't put the vintage photo on it, you know. I, I totally forgot this page, totally, totally. But that's okay, you don't have to ink up everything, you know. Um, here's another, um, this wasn't a postcard, it was from a magazine. And this is from the postcard book that um, I had and I just cut it out. And so it's like you can journaling or a card for somebody, whatever you wanna do with it. All right. So I made this little tag just with some leftover um, lace. I found these pockets. Oh my gosh, I can't remember who made them. I made them before in my previous video and I forgot who made them. But um, there's, it's really cute little double pocket. And um, I got like this pack of odds and ends games and stuff. And so these colors went together. So I just grabbed some funny money. And then this is really cute. This stored some needles. Oh, I just realized I'm kind of out of, oh, I'm sorry about that guys. Um, this had needles in it, sewing needles. And so, um, I just added some spots to, um, journal so you can have a secret little note. And I just added a little kitty picture. So there's that. It goes right there in that pocket right there. I just added this little key stamp, this little flower. All right, the next page I have a flip down. I don't know if you can see it, but it flips down. And this has a pocket here and here, and I just made this into a journal card. And then this is a pocket. So I just added a six by six. I cut it down and overlapped the, to make it fit and then just glued the other piece. And these tabs are from Bill Marie. The washi tape is from my friend Bill Marie. It just went perfect. Like I said, I try to use everything up. Some washi tape. Um, I ordered some more stuff from the washi tape shop and I ordered these um, and I really like the grid and it wasn't that expensive so I, I got that pack and I really really enjoying those okay um, more paper doll um, and this one is the metal signature. And when I first put this music paper down, you can see where I put the glue and I was like, oh, wow, that didn't do. So then I used just regular, um, the roll on glue. And then I don't know if you can tell, but I don't know how to do, um, I don't know what it's called. Um, the embossing 
So I just, again, I just took the liquid pearls and put it, you know, kind of thick where the flowers were um, and just let it dry. And so I think it works just as good as embossing so I don't have to go buy another tool. <laughs> and then um, I just took some of this um, liquid pearls and covered this and this to give it a little bit of shine. I know you probably can't see it on camera. All right, and then I just, of course, added gesso so that you can write on this. All right, um, so I had fun with this one. I just used some, I just like took the whole stamp <laughs> of the Distress Oxide. Actually, I don't think I put it on here. I think I put it on something and then sprayed it down with water and then just, so that's why it came out kind of square. Um, but um, then I found Ecclesiastes and it kind of reminded me of, um, I don't know how many of you watch Will of Fortune, but it's the before and after, I think it's called before and after. Anyway, um, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance like no one is watching because I had this sticker from when my daughter danced and I got to use them up or else they're just going to go to waste. All right. And then um, I found this scrap piece. I'm not even sure where I got this from. When I go, when I get new stuff, I try to put it in with like items and then I forget where I got stuff from. And that's just a word. Oh, some glue. Um, it's, it's just paper, but it looks cool. Um, this is a piece of that, um, 12 by 12 paper, but I just cut it down. And I made another pocket here. And this is Huckle Bones. Um, it was from a children's book that was falling apart. And I just thought it was cool because it's black. He's black and white and blue eyes. And it kind of matched with what I was doing here. So I just added him in there. Okay, so here's my favorite birdie stamp. I love that stamp so much. And I just barely put it on with black ink because I didn't want it. To, I want it to kind of match the washi over here. And it's a flip out um, from um, this moon picture that Ville Marie gave me. And I thought if somebody had like a silver um, pen, I th thought it would look really cool. So I just kind of left this totally, this blank. All right, oh dear. So I've had this piece of paper for a while and I've been wanting, I've used it on another um, journal, but I still had some left. So I just thought I'd put some here. And I don't know about you, but uh, Deer's eyelashes are really, really, really long. So I was just like, oh, I'll use some of my eyelash. <laughs> oh, and I need, to, looks like I need to glue that down a little bit better. All right, so this is a piece. Um, of, I had a big doily that I had um, coffee dyed, and I just used the um, the actual doily part, you know, the lace part. So I had this piece left over, and I was like, oh, I'll make a belly band out of it. So I have this um, postcard that my mom gave me from 1908. She found it at an antique mall. But look how beautiful the handwriting is. I wish I could have the handwriting. I guess it's just practice. I'll start practicing. I know I've said that before. And I do kind of practice, but then it's like I stop because I'm like, eh, it's getting worse. <laughs> um, again, I just added some stuff here. Um, and then um, I have a um, scripture with God, all things are possible, Matthew 19, 26. Um, and then this is really cute because I added this little Pikachu piece that I had. <laughs> it's just really cute. It was yellow and it's Pikachu. Um, and then I just added some paper. It's amazing. You just take a piece of paper and fold it up. And I just put this like little piece of um, foil so it looks like a closing. And here's another one of my um, seed packets. 
and look, it's the same flower. And I've had this forever and I finally get to use it because it's yellow and purple. So yeah. All right, and um, I just added this tag from a piece of clothing and I put some washi on it. Um, this actually was pink at the bottom, so it's, it looks really cool, that how it came out. And this is the back side, and I just put to and from, so you could use it, just take it off the bread. But there's tons of journaling space here. This is just a 12 by 12. This is from that romance novel, 12 by 12, that I've had forever. And it was just looking a little stark. Um, and I don't know about you, when you get towards the end of the journal, because I tend to go page by page. I mean, sometimes I flip through and like, okay, I want to work on this page. But I was just like, your brain is fried. So I just added some lace that I coffee dyed. Actually, it's fabric. Okay, and this is the very last page. Um, and my little stamp that I found at the secondhand store. Um, inspired by life. One of a kind art created by Laga Pa, which is me, created by hand. And then I added just this little pocket. This is some wallpaper from Ville Marie. And I just added this little bow that I had that's been sitting in my desk forever. And then just uh, this left totally blank. I didn't even grunge it up. And then this is like one of those leather pieces that you can make an earring out of. And so to stop, instead of making a knot, I just thought I'd use this piece. So, yeah. So that's my newest, my newest one. And um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I've been giving them away <laughs> to people, to my relatives and stuff. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Ta-ta for now.